Greetings and salutations everyone, Crimson Nero here, and welcome to Let's Play Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut. Let's get started. Select a memory card. So, a little bit of background about Sonic Adventure. Um, well, Sonic Adventure was first released for the um, Sega Dreamcast so on November 27th, 1998. It sold over 2.5 million copies and is known and is regarded as the best-selling Dreamcast game. This is also known as being the first 3D Sonic game. And also, um, it was released um, with a director's cut, which is the version I'm playing right now. And it, that was released for the GameCube, which is the version I'm playing in 2003. It was ported to the Windows computer, uh, Windows computers in 2004. On September 15, 2010, it was ported to the Xbox Live Marketplace, so if you have an Xbox, go pick it up, because it's a great game. Um, and five days after that, it was ported to the um, PlayStation Network, which was September 20, 2010. And the theme that you are hearing right now is... Um, Open Your Heart by Crush 40, and that was the song that you heard in the beginning uh, movie, and we'll hear that actually later in the game. So, uh, so yeah, the character. only character that we can uh, start off with is Sonic the Hedgehog, our protagonist. So, let's get started. Let's get him! So uh, this game is a very big fan favorite among among Sonic fans. A lot of people really like this game and say that it's one of the best 3D Sonic games. And here we are. Here we are in peaceful Station Square. Wait, did I just see Navi or something? Oh yeah, here we are. Oh yeah. This is happening. And voice acting. I'll try not to talk over much of the voice acting, but if I accidentally interrupt someone, then I will try my best to not do that. So yeah, um here's where the story starts. With this guy. You are completely surrounded. Surrender yourself. Whoa. Lock on target, man. Ready? Fire. That thing is actually rather large, and it's a lot larger than the police officer is shooting it, and oh my goodness, bullets are useless against it. I basically just said that. Your weapons are useless. Oh yeah. This could be fun. Okay, Sonic. Maybe this could be fun. It will be fun. And here is our beginning boss of the game, Chaos Zero. Now, the thing about Sonic is that he actually lives off of rings, those golden rings that you see all around the place. 
Those are basically his life force, sort of. If you get hit while you have rings, well then, you'll lose all your rings, but at least you won't die. If you get... whoops. If you get hit while you have no rings, then you lose a life, unfortunately, and you go back to the checkpoint, which, in this case, is the beginning of the boss battle. Now, Chaos Zero is not that hard of a boss. Pretty much just hit the glowing uh, brain thing in its forehead, and you should be fine. Like that. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. Really easy, just to get you uh, um, used to Sonic's controls, and. Yeah, that's basically it. It's a really easy boss fight just to get you to testing the waters. Come on, you big drip. Where you going? And yes, Chaos Zero is made entirely of water. So we can flow all around the place. Wait, who's this? You know nothing, fool! It's Chaos, the god of destruction! <laughs> a man with a kind of pinkish red nose, an awesome looking mustache, and sunglasses. And he's also wearing uh, Michael Jackson's thriller coat. I'm kidding. I'll get on to who that is later, but basically, if you know anything about Sonic the Hedgehog, you know who these characters are. Seriously. Huh? And out of nowhere! What? An hey, out of control plane! Watch out! You're gonna crash! Ah! Yay, lip flaps. Well, it was Dreamcast I mean, Dreamcast era technology, so really, what do you hey, expect? Oh. Oh, what am I gonna do with you? And we're off to adventure! Wait, where did you come from? Where did this kid come from? Darn it, I'm confused! Let's take a swim. So, yeah, um, Sonic Adventure. Um, right now we are in the adventure field, which is basically your way of getting between levels. So, if we come over here, uh, we can. Oh, we can go into the first stage, which is Emerald Coast. This is a very famous, uh, very, very famous uh, stage in not only the Sonic franchise, but also the entire video game community as a whole. Now, Sonic controls uh, uh, rather differently than he did in the good old 2D era. As you can see, uh, 3D has, um, has changed Sonic a little bit, so basically you just move around uh, Sonic with a control stick. Um, to jump in the air, press the A button, and while you're in the air, press the A button again to do a new move that Sonic uh, learned in this game called the homing attack. The homing attack will allow you to either have a little boost of speed while in the air, if, if you're not like locked onto anything, um, or if you're actually close enough to an enemy of some sort, then you will manage to um, propel yourself forward to them and smash them. And this is probably the most iconic thing that you could possibly have from this game. Well, at least one of the most iconic things. Getting chased by a giant whale! Hey Shamu, how's it going? Oh my god, he's trying to eat me. Keep running! And yes, if you heard that little uh, jingle, it means that I got an extra life. Extra lives can be picked up by either uh, collecting an extra life box, or by um, collecting 100 rings. This move right here is the Spin Dash! Wow. I didn't expect myself to live through, I lived through that. Uh, yeah, that was the Spin Dash. Press down the B button to, uh, uh, to kind of hold yourself in place, and then uh, release the B button to propel yourself forward at a uh, very nice speed. And here we are, on to part two of the stage. And that little tiny marker thing that just showed my time, uh, that is a checkpoint, so yeah. Hit those a lot, because you don't want to have to replay the entire level all over again. That's an extra life, so now you know both ways of getting extra lives. And I just got another one. Yay, seven lives. 
Getting extra lives as Sonic in this game is really easy. Now, the thing about this game is that I'm not going... I have beaten this game uh, before many, many, many times because this was a game from my childhood that I absolutely adored back then and I still adore to this day. Thank you, Navi, or... Wait, who the heck was that? We'll get to who that is later, but yeah, for now, that's basically our Navi of the game. And just running along, dolphins jumping, and here's our buddy! We beat it in under three minutes, but really, score really does nothing in this game. Yeah, not bad! And we got an emblem! In the, um, in the Director's Cut version of this game, if you get all 130 emblems, then you get to play as, um, a different version of Sonic. Hey, Sonic! Long time no see, huh? I'm just glad you're okay. What happened anyway? You're too good of a pilot to just crash like that. That was a test run using a new prototype to pull some system. It's got a few bugs to iron out. Why not just use my plane, the Tornado? Thanks, but you gotta check out my newest power supply. Ta-da! Whoa! A Chaos Emerald! Yep, I just happened to find one of the seven emeralds during one of my test flights. This thing's got unlimited power, you know. So I figured, why not use it to power my plane? Supercharged! Come over to my workshop, Sonic. I've got something I've got to show you. It's in the Mystic Ruins. The fastest way is by train. Let's go! So, yes, um, that, uh, that, or, uh, that yellow fox right there, that was Tails. So, um, one thing I forgot to mention is that Sonic the Hedgehog, he is a blue hedgehog, he runs at supersonic speeds, really, really fast, uh, one of the most iconic characters of all time. There was actually a time where Sonic was actually more recognizable than Mickey Mouse, and that's saying something. Um, Sonic the Hedgehog in this game is voiced by Ryan Drummond, um, who a lot of people like to argue is um, the best voice actor for Sonic that Sonic has ever had. Um, you can debate all you want, but you know what? You like who you like, so if you like Ryan Drummond, and I do, then great. If you don't like him, well then there are other voice actors that might tickle your fancy even better. Uh, Tails. Tails is actually a nickname. Um, as you saw, he has a, uh, he is a fox with two tails. Um, he was actually given the nickname of Tails uh, by Sonic, and his real name is Miles Tails Prowler. Tails is included being his nickname. So yeah, uh, Station Square, um, this is basically your hub world for the game, this is how you get between levels, you can just run around, do random stuff, it's really fun. And if you ever need any sort of help or hint or something, then just jump right here to where uh, this Navi character is. So, we have to go over to the Mystic Ruins to see, um, to see Tails at his workshop, so let's go. Oh, and, um, Tails is voiced by Cory, uh, Cory Bringuez, if I pronounced that correctly. I probably didn't. So Tails' workshop is right up here, but first, cutscene! <laughs> if it isn't Sonic! Look, it's a giant talking egg! Haha! <laughs> I am Dr. Robotnik! The greatest scientific genius in the world! Meet our antagonist! Whatever you say, Eggman! Enough! I've got big plans! And now, I'm gonna put them to work! You're always up to no good. Now what do you want? I want all of the Chaos Emeralds! Better not interfere! Or else! Or else what, you big loser? Oh, 90s humor. Or else I'll take them from you by force! The 
Whoa, his machine just got upgraded. Come on, let's go! And we have our second boss of the game, the Egg Hornet. Now, the, um, the antagonist of the game, and, well, the entire Sonic series as a whole, regardless of what game or what comic or whatever, this is Dr. Ivo Robot. Um, who, after, uh, who basically from this game onward is known as uh, as Dr. Eggman. Now, um, Dr. Eggman is voiced by Dean Bristol, and I have to say he does a uh, he did a fabulous job with this time uh, with this character. He captured a very um, iconic uh, iconic villain. He's very well known, uh, and also he's just a good villain in general. The Egg Hornet is a very easy boss. It only takes three hits to uh, defeat it. And basically, you just wait for Eggman to stop shooting all those missiles and start um, uh, start trying to ram you with those two spikes. And once he's on the ground, just uh, give him a good whack in the head with a homing attack. Like so. That was actually just a jump. But you can actually jump on uh, jump on enemies to uh, hit them, or you can actually use the homing attack. Just make sure that you're in the proper range. Sometimes you can fall a little short. But yeah, that it was the Egg Hornet. Really easy boss. Well, that wasn't so hard. What well, was the second boss? Aha! Uh-oh. We took the Chaos Emerald. What are we gonna do now? Um, take it back? Come on, Chaos. Time to leave. Wait. Chaos. Chaos? But didn't we... Uh-oh, it's Chaos from just last night. Oh no, isn't that the same monster I saw the other day? Yep. And now he's even stronger, and he has a metal endoskeleton. Plus he's bigger. Together, we'll destroy Station Square. And on its ruins, I'll build Robotnik Land, the ultimate city, where I will rule it all. Come on, Chaos! Let's find another Emerald, shall we? Smoke screen. That already just dropped a light bulb or something. Sorry. I don't know. We can't let him get away with this, can we? No way, Tails. Without more emeralds, the monster can't transform. So it's up to us to get the emeralds before Eggman does, huh? Yep. Let's go find us some Chaos Emeralds. All right. So, um, the Chaos Emeralds. The Chaos Emeralds are seven magical stones that contain unlimited power. This is not one of them. This is the Windstone. It's a key to the next level. The Chaos Emeralds. Um, there are seven of them. If you hold one, then you're st and then you can use it to manipulate time and space, and also um, and also um, gain other powers from them as well. However, with more Chaos Emeralds, the stronger the effects of the Chaos Emeralds get, and also the stronger the holder is as well. But, if you have all seven Chaos Emeralds, then a miracle will happen. We'll see what that miracle is, but that'll take place a lot, 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 lot later in the story. For now, let's move on to the second stage. Windy Valley, you get the Chaos Emerald. The homing attack is not only used for destroying enemies, but it's also used for creating for um, getting from one part of the stage to another, as you just saw. Now this barrier right here, this is the electrical barrier. The electrical barrier, uh, barrier allows um, allows the Sonic characters to um, pull in rings to them, and plus it's also an extra hit. 
They have a normal barrier, and they also have this barrier. However, there are others that have um, uh, been in the series before and uh, come later on in the series uh, in some uh, games to come. But mainly in this game, you only have those two barriers. The regular barrier, which is just an extra hit, and also the electric barrier, which um, draws in rings and also um, allows you to take up. one extra hit. Should be able to get out of the tornado. So just like in Emerald Coast, just when you hit those, uh, those panels, just, um, just keep pressing the A button to jump, and you'll make your way up to your destination. Also, springs. Springs are a very iconic way for Sonic to get around. They've been around since his debut, and they will continue to be so till the end of time. And here's the second part of the stage. In this game, there isn't really that big of a... I mean, there isn't that much of a necessity to kill off enemies. But if you need to, well then, go ahead. Because enemies are mean. They don't like you, and you don't like them. If something tries to stop you, well then, you just tell them to move. And here's our rocket! Checkpoint! Woo! I'm going sonic speed! Whee! Running on the wind! Don't get hit by those iron balls because they hurt. Oh boy! Whew. I almost fell off the edge there. This never happened before, but okay. I'm still alive. So everything's good. And we're off again. So yeah, this is just going to be a regular old run of uh, Psych Adventure, there's... I'm not doing a 100%, I'm just going to go through the entire story from beginning to end as each character... Yes, there are more than one character to play as in this game. Um, so I'll go from the beginning, uh, so this episode, until the very end, which will be whatever episode it is. And the thing is, this game actually isn't all that long. It'll definitely be a lot shorter than uh, Ocarina of Time, that's for sure. I mean, heck. We're already at the end of the second stage. And there's Tails just randomly appearing yet again. I only killed one enemy. <laughs> More rings. Yeah, not bad. And here we are back in the Mystic Ruins. The train headed for Station Square will be departing soon. Well then, I guess I might want to take the train, or maybe not. Alright, so, I think that'll be a good place to end off right now. So, in this episode, we took all, I mean, took down two bosses and two stages, plus we met uh, some of the characters, and we've started off this series in a very strong note. So, in the next episode of Let's Play Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cuts, uh, we're gonna go off to the next area. I wonder what it could be. Let's go back to Station Square and find out in the next part. I'm Crimson Nero. Thank you very much for watching this episode. I hope you have. I hope you enjoyed this series because I know I will. Until next time, everyone. Fare thee well.